It takes a special person to be a dolphin trainer, especially at the Georgia Aquarium's AT&T Dolphin Tales. When they set out to hire the new team, they had a high set of standards. It's a lengthy process for hiring trainers, but it's so important that we get the best of the best. At the end of the day, the show's going to be great, the audience is going to love it, but we want to make sure our animals get the best people to care for them, and so that's why we're pretty picky about those selections. And their national search, led by esteemed trainer Michael Hunt, brought them in touch with some of the industry's top-line dolphin trainers. To qualify is rigorous. The swim test is divided up into parts. It's going to test their ability to hold their breath while swimming underwater. It's going to test their ability to dive to the bottom of the pool. It's going to test their overall swimming ability and, and their level of comfort in the water. And then there's a public speaking portion as well. Uh, I currently am a dolphin trainer, actually. It's been a dream since I was eight years old, but I would basically just be continuing following my dream and moving further along with it, hopefully. A marine mammal training job is very sought after. It's difficult to get. There's a lot that goes into it, more than just playing with dolphins that people don't see. And there are lots of people that go out for it, and there's a lot of people that don't get it. But for some, it's well worth the effort because the payoff is high, becoming part of the dream team of dolphin trainers at the Georgia Aquarium. Months ago when we had the swim tests, I talked about when I was a kid, and I, I, I always wanted to be an animal trainer and I always wanted to, to, to work with dolphins. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that I would be leading a team and starting a program like this. And without being cliche, it's proof that dreams come true. And getting the opportunity to be a part of the world's largest aquarium and, and, and breaking new ground and jumping high hurdles is something to me that is a new benchmark in, in marine animal training and marine animal science. And I'm really proud to have been a part of this.